Hi, welcome back to my channel. And this week, as promised, I will be doing the DIY cage liners for my Critter Nation. I have a two-story Critter Nation, so I will be doing a full set of cage liners. Um, I hope to have enough extra fabric left over, which I believe that I will, to make some hammocks or snuggle sacks to go in there, or to just have some extra fleece pieces to throw in the cage for the ferrets to cuddle with. Uh, so I normally go to the store and I get about two and a half yards of fabric for each, two and a half yards of fleece, two and a half yards of cotton. Um, that allows me to be able to have extra to do kind of whatever I want to do with it. Um, so that's kind of what I do. Also, um, it allows for me to make mistakes, which we all do and I do and it happens. <laughs> so um, uh, that's what we'll be doing this week. If there's any videos that you want to see or you have any suggestions or recommendations or questions or anything, please, please put them in the comments below. I am 100% open to ideas um, and I just would love to hear any ideas that you may have. Um, and without further ado, I'm going to get started. If you like this video, please click the like button and please subscribe to my channel. And I will be back next week with an all new video. And um, have a great week, everybody. So this is what your top pan um, pattern should look like. You want it to be reversed if you have a pattern that you want on the top. If you're using two solid colors and you don't care which one is on the top, it doesn't really matter um, which direction you trace your pan in. But if you want your pattern to be on top, you have to trace your pan upside down so that when you turn the fabric inside out, the design is where it's supposed to be. Um, in addition, you don't, you want to leave an end open on all of these, on everything that you sew, on all of your pan liners. Um, I'm doing this pillowcase style, so you don't want to sew the end. If you sew the end, you won't be able to get it in. <laughs>
Okay, so I just wanted to stop the video and say that I'm going to um, continue to sew all the way through. So I'm gonna sew the other three liners. I'm gonna sew the other big pan that goes into the bottom because I started with my top liner and um, the big one. And I'm also gonna sew the other two small shelf liners. Just make sure whatever you do that you leave an opening on um, all of your liners. You're going to want to leave the um, short side, one of the short sides open uh, because you're gonna wanna be able to slide it in. I do these as pillowcases. So this, um, I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the short side. So I left one of these open. The really long side, the one where you open the cage door, um, you would wanna sew that. So just wherever, you know, the sides of your cage, leave one of those open. So the short side. Um, I don't measure these. I mean, I could measure these and there are measurements for these and I could get it really precise um, and fit and snug like a glove. The thing is, is that my ferrets, <laughs> no matter what I do, they wanna climb up underneath of them. And I really don't care that they do that. I mean, they're protected and they're warm and if that's what they wanna do, so be it. Also, um, if you don't pre-wash your fabric, it's going to shrink. So just know that it's good to leave it big. Um, I wash these, I wash them all the time. I don't really dry them on high heat and I also don't wash them with regular um, laundry soap. I wash them with like Drift or something that doesn't have fabric, like any kind of chemical smells or anything in it. It seems to really irritate the ferrets if I use anything with scent. So I try to use like baby laundry soap or whatever is, doesn't have chemicals in it just so that they don't um, get itchy. But anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna keep going. Um, if you have any questions um, or comments, please let me know. And um, I will try to be a little more clear when I'm editing the video to show you specifically what part I to leave open, just in case that gets a little confusing. I don't necessarily think it will, but just in case. All right, let's do it. <laughs> 